We are going to have a lot of time between now and the election um, to talk about qualifications, to talk about issues and talk about all that kind of stuff. But today, I just wanted you to know my rationale. I wanted you to know why I'm stepping into this because it's not something that you do, at least not for me. It's not something that you do out of vanity. See, we have enough people who are entering elected office and running for positions out of vanity because of their own desires and their own needs. You all know that I've worked in politics for a very long time. It is not something that you do out of vanity because the attacks come immediately. They come swift. You know, the personal attacks, the attacks on your character, your integrity, your reputation, people trying to demean your contributions. Why? You know, but that's the season that we are in. And it is only uh, made worse by the, the, the president of the United States. So for me, I had to pray about this thing first. It's one thing when people say, oh, Pat, you'd be great. You should do this. You can do this. So first and foremost, to me, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. First and foremost, for me, I had to search my own heart. I had to search my own heart, my own ego, my own vanity, and make sure that I checked myself. I'm sorry. I said I wasn't going to do this. I had to make sure that I checked myself to be sure that this was not about personal issues I may have or self-aggrandizement on my part. I needed to know for me, not what everybody else might think, not what everybody else might say, not what the resume might dictate. I needed to know for me, why would I be willing to step into the fray? Why would I be willing to put myself out there I called my son and you all know, you all know how much I love my son. And my son said, mama, don't do it. He said, don't do it. He said, because people are mean and people are hurtful. And he said, I don't want to have to come back to St. Louis. <laughs> but when we talked about it, the one thing he said to me, he said, mama, you can't not do it. This is who you are. You have always stood up for kids. You have always stood up for families who didn't have anybody who would fight for them. This is who you are. So we've talked about it and he's right. This is who I am. I don't know what else to do. I don't know how to do anything else. And so it was a hard decision. Um, because like I said, politics is not easy. And even if it's just a school board race, just a school board race, as people have said, it requires energy, it requires focus, it requires stamina, it requires you to put on that whole armor, right? Um, because when you, when you try to step out on a mission that is designed to lift people who don't have a voice, to, to speak on things that others would like you not to open your mouth about. When you try to have a whole shift in how people think about something as important as their children's future and educating them, when you do that, when you try to do things that might upset you know, people's clicks and um, upset their strategies and plans for rewarding friends. And I'm not saying that any of that is happening in the school district of University City. I'm saying in politics overall. In general. So let me tell you what is important to me and why I have decided to take this journey. And, and you're going to hear me. Thank you, Mark Howard. I appreciate that. You're going to hear me say this a lot. So if you get tired of it, I'm sorry, but I'm going to say it a lot. 
part of the reason why I'm doing this is because I've had too many conversations with people who attended university, who attended schools in the school district of University City. Their children attended schools in the University uh, City School District. And when they talk about the difference, when they talk about the difference in the value of their degree, when compared with the value of their children's education here, some of them actually do more crying than I do. This, this can't be. The school district of U University City used to be a beacon, admired all across the country, doing all kinds of revolutionary things. Um, the relationships that students had, you can go anywhere. There's a reason why they say that people who attended University City schools, they're a cult. You know, they're a squad. They run deep. There's a reason for that. There's a lot of love. There's relationships there with the faculty, with the staff. That's there. That's what we need to bring back to the school district of University City. The value of the degree of the students who are graduating today, that degree should be just as valuable as the degree of the students who graduated in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s. It should be just as valuable or even more so. We should be preparing our students, not just for college and career here in the United States, Globally, when our students walk out that door, they should be prepared for any challenge in any country they seek to live and work anywhere, hands down, no questions asked. So quite simply, we know a lot of people have taken their children out of the school district of University City. It's gone down. In 2014, we had like 3,000 students. I think we have maybe 24, 2,500 now, okay? Simply what I want to do is make sure that we are creating a world-class education experience for every single child in the school district of University City so that people are lining up to get into our district, not lining up to pull their kids out. That's it. I want every parent who lives in University City School District not to have to choose whether or not they're going to spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 to send their children to private school when there's because there's an excellent public school right around the block. That's what I want. There are some wonderful people who work in the school district of University City. There's, there's great leadership in the school district of University City. And I think it's time that we just really pull it all together. Some great things are happening there. Some, and it's a good start. The school district by its own admission has not done as good a job as it wants to do and could do in terms of family and community engagement. That cannot be. We cannot realize our true purpose if we don't include parents, if we don't include families, if we don't include people in the community, alumni. And I don't mean just token inclusion, I mean real meaningful work because we're in this together. We are in this together. Those kids you see walking up and down the street with nothing to do, they belong to us. Those kids you try to hire in your business and they don't have the right soft skills and they don't really know how to function, they belong to us. Those property taxes that you pay that are sky high, but you don't send your children to the district, you don't reap the benefits of that, that's ours. We own that. We own that. We owe you something better. We owe you that. So I am asking you, I am so humbly asking you to help me with this. I can't do it by myself. And it can't be about me. I need you to reach out to every single parent you know in the school district of University City. The one that's working two jobs and can't go to the PTO meeting. I'll go for you. Let me be your voice. Okay, the one who's who's just I don't know what to do with this child. Let us help you. That's what we do. That's our child, too. And if we fail that child in the school district, surely that child don't stand a chance out here in the world. So I'm asking you to help me with this. So let me say this. Oftentimes when we have um, elections and when there are uh, contests for seats, 
People want to make it out that somebody has to be bad. So somebody has to go. There has to be a villain. That's not the case. It doesn't mean that anybody sitting on that board right now is bad. That they're a villain. That there's an administrator that's bad or they're a villain. It just means that maybe we need a different perspective. Maybe we need a different kind of voice and a different kind of conversation. So I'm not going to get into that. Oh, this person is bad. This person is not good. I'm not getting into that. Not at all. You won't hear that from me. What I'm getting into, what I'm getting into is children, family, community. That's what I'm getting into. And I hope you will help me. I'm asking you to help me. So I've cried enough. You guys, I can't believe you guys made me to tears. I'm sorry. Um, so quite simply, if you know somebody in U City, you know a parent in U City, especially a parent that's struggling. See, because that's where my heart is. I know what it's like to be a single parent. And you're trying to go to two or three different jobs. And you're trying to make some things happen. And you're trying to have a life. And then somebody wants to belittle you or make, make things hard for you because you can't get to the PTO meeting? That's not right. I'm sorry. How about we figure out a different way to communicate with you? How about we figure out a different way to bring you into the fold? What you thinking? How you feeling? Um, you've had children in the school district of University City. I want to know what your experience was. Because there are children in our district who have a phenomenal learning experience. They are doing things that you wouldn't believe, whether it's, it's robotics and project-based learning. They are doing phenomenal things. They are amazing. But guess what? I want to make sure that every one of our children can have those amazing experiences. I don't want to just stop with a few who have them. Every one of our children deserves to have an amazing experience in the school district of University City. Okay? That's it.